Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome to Ask Brian Chow. Continue from my previous video on different rate for EPF. Today, I'm going to show you how you can set the different rate for EPF in SQL Payroll software. First, we log into SQL Payroll software. In SQL Payroll software, if you want to set different rate, you can set in payroll, maintenance, maintain contribution. By standard, we have a default contribution where the employee rate is set to A and employer rate also set to A. A stands for auto. And by default, employee rate is 11%, employer rate is 12%. If the salary is less than 5,000 ringgit, will be 13%. This is auto. If you want to set another rate, you can create example, EPF 19%. And over here, for employer EPF rate, you can set 19%. The same idea can go for employee and others rate as well. Next step will be go to human resource, maintain employee. Example, you have a employee called boss. And this boss under payroll info, you can set the contribution and select the 19% contribution table. For others, example, salary less than 5,000, we select the default and also salary more than 5,000 employee also set as default contribution table. So when you go to payroll, new payroll, process the payroll, and you can see that for boss, the EPF is 11% and for the employer rate, it will be 19% and salary less than 5,000 ringgit by default, EPF is 11% and the employer rate is 13%. If salary more than 5,000, EPF will be 11% and employer will be 12%. For SQL payroll user, you just need to set the contribution table and assign to the particular employee and let the software process automatically for your EPF contribution. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Thank you.